Welcome to Northern Strands, your official supplier of Vitali International chain hoists and lever hoists. This instructional video will be taking place at Northern Strands main warehouse facility in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Chain hoist usage. Ensure hook safety latches are closed around lifting point. With the chain hoist front or data plate side facing you, pull the left side chain to raise the load and the right side chain to lower it. In this video, we disassemble a one-ton chain hoist with a three-meter fall. This procedure should be the same for all Vitali chain hoists, but feel free to contact us if you find yourself unable to follow along. Here is a list of tools you will need for assembly and disassembly. Vitali International Chain Hoist Service Instructions Chain Hoist Disassembly Start this process with the back side of the unit facing up. Remove the nuts and lock washers that hold the cover on the hoist. The back cover can now be put aside. Free the lock nut from the center of the hand chain wheel. Take the hand chain off the hand chain wheel and set it aside. Turning the hand wheel counterclockwise will detach it from the drive shaft allowing removal of the dust cover. Unload brake discs and ratchet disc. Ensure no oil or grease comes in contact with the braking surfaces. Now turn disc hub counterclockwise to remove from the shaft. Older hoists may require force. Remove snap rings from pawl pins to allow removal of pawls as well as pawl springs. Pull out cotter pin on the top hook shaft. Take out the top hook shaft with washers to allow removal of top hook assembly. Flip hoist over to gain access to the geared side. Taking off the nuts and lock washers allows you to detach the gear case assembly and expose the gears. Remove double seal ball bearing from drive shaft. Remove the spur gear assembly. Extract the snap ring on load gear and slide the load gear off the spindle.
separate the side plate assembly. Tap out the double seal ball bearing from the gear side plate assembly. The guide rollers, chain stripper and load chain are set aside. Remove the split pin from chain anchor pin. The chain anchor pin can now be detached from the chain anchor plate. With load chain out of the way, the load sheave can be extracted. Remove the C-clip from the load sheave. The drive shaft and needle bearing can now be separated from the load sheave. Tap out the double sealed ball bearing from the wheel side plate assembly. Remove the lock nut on bottom hook shaft from the bottom hook assembly. With the hoist disassembled, all parts can be cleaned, degreased, and air dried. Measure hooks to ensure there is no stretching or twisting. Inspect pawls for rust buildup and make sure they have full range of motion. Check load sheaves and gears for cracks or excess wear. Inspect the chain for stretching, weld spatter, rust, corrosion, and any visible damage. Ensure the nameplate is legible and the warning tag is still affixed. After cleaning and final inspection of all the parts, the hoist can be reassembled. Here is a list of parts you should have for reassembly. Chain Hoist Assembly Tap in the double seal ball bearing into the wheel side plate assembly. Insert the greased drive shaft and needle bearing into load sheave. Put a metal cylinder over top of drive shaft so you can tap the bearing into load sheave. Install C-clip into load sheave to hold needle bearing in place. Reinstall load sheave into wheel side plate assembly. Position the load chain ensuring the welds on links are facing out. Attach the load chain to chain anchor plate using the chain anchor pin.
Install split pin into chain anchor pin. Replace rollers and chain stripper and install top plate. Ensure components are properly lined. Tap the double seal ball bearing into the gear side plate assembly. Tap into place geared side plate halfway, allowing room for chain anchor plate. Insert the chain anchor plate in between the plates. Make sure the chain is straight. Now tap the gear side plate the rest of the way down. Position load gear on load sheave and secure with a snap ring. Install spur gear assembly, making sure alignment marks are both facing the same way. Be sure hoist gears are properly greased. Tap in double sealed ball bearing into gear case assembly. Seat gear case assembly. Apply anti-seize to the stay bolt. Put the washers back on stay bolts and ratchet nuts into place. Flip hoist over and apply anti-seize to stay bolts, pawl pins, and drive shaft. Install the pawl springs and pawls and secure with snap ring on each. Install new snap rings onto pawl pins. Mount disc hub on the drive shaft. Put friction disc on the disc hub 
followed by the ratchet disc. Place friction disc on ratchet disc. Secure the top hook assembly with a spacer on each side of hook. Slide the pin through the plates and secure with cotter pin. Replace dust cover, spin hand wheel clockwise onto drive shaft until firmly secure. Your hoist may be equipped with an optional overload limiter assembly that is part of the hand wheel. The assembly procedure remains the same. Ratchet lock nut onto drive shaft until tight, then loosen one half of a turn. Check for adequate movement of the hand wheel on the drive shaft. Install the hand chain. Replace dust cover and secure with lock washers and nuts. Install bottom hook assembly onto load chain. Use a ratchet to affix lock nut. This concludes this video. Please feel free to contact us or visit our webpage if you have any further questions. Thank you.